In the future, don't forget to take walks, Granny says. Walks to see the animals, understand their movements, and see their experience as something precious. I believe you will seek them out, because so much else in life will drain you. I will try not to forget those words. Take walks, take walks, take walks. You never know what will be in your path. And enjoy the sun, she adds. The sun has its dangers, but it will be there for your warmth and pleasure as well. I sit back in my chair and nod off to a humming of fluorescent light as my granny stares into a distant space with squinted eyes. I dream of walking to doorways and of the keys that open up secrets trapped in box-shaped rooms. I dream of green hills and blue skies that surround them. I dream of trying to leave trying to run away, but I am stuck on these green hills and they are stuck to me. I am trapped in what seems to be paradise. I try to free some of these visions, but they fade away. Granny shakes me awake because there is so much more that needs to be told about languages melding into each other to form new meaning and ceremony. Okay, I murmur, fumbling out of my deep sleep. Yes, yes, her eyes move back and forth, searching for her train of thought. Yes, ceremony. Oh, your ceremonies in the future will be grander and there will be more of them from so many different belief systems. You will latch onto ceremony. Those held at night would need light and so many will involve the projection of a moon into the sky.
My granny sees the light with the dark and with the grays. She tells me to step in and out of light and then back into the dark. It is always there for you. When you close your eyes, there are no shapes, but there is peace, and you can see nothing but your own thoughts. Then the layers come image on top of image and they flicker by. Sometimes sound meanders in very softly. There will be repetition because you are trying to remind yourself of a time you thought was necessary. Sometimes everything will disappear. The darkness will be there, and maybe it will be death. After death, no one knows, but I feel in my bones that it could be splendid. <laughs>